Hi everyone. You know, when you see me holding this box, you know that I've got a box of Wink Wine. I've got four new bottles to try. This is my 15th box of Wink Wine. And you know, I just love their motto. Thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Wine Diaries. You're probably looking at me with this wig and you say, didn't I just see that a few weeks ago? And isn't she wearing the same shirt? Yeah, I am. I just unboxed a uh, Timu unboxing, did a little try on with it, tried on this blouse that I just love with this black lace here, this funky kind of colorful wig with blue and black and kind of like a purpley lilac and silvery gray and you know what I did not want to take it off and I said oh you know I'm done videoing for the night I did a few things I should go and edit I should get back to YouTube and start watching some videos and commenting and then I said but you know I don't want to take this off and put my pajamas on so you know what I did I said you know what I'm going to look at those bottles of wine that came in figure out a quick dinner come back in and do a wine diary I know so this is this is exciting it's kind of like last minute kind of picking things out of the refrigerator but anyway let's get into the wink shall we so wink it's a monthly subscription of course I choose to get it monthly you can skip months whenever you'd like you can also buy additional wine if you've got company coming you're having a party you're maybe going away and you just want to kind of take some things on vacation with you so you can buy wine anytime that you want I think it's any four bottles that you buy that's not part of the subscription you're going to get free shipping I'm going to have a link below and uh, my link is going to take you right to the website um, if you're going to take a quick questionnaire about different foods that you like from there they will curate a box of wine for you if you know the wines that you love you do not have to take their suggestions you can purchase any wines that you like um, however your first four bottles using my link and of course if you go to the website you don't need anybody's link but if you use my link hello I get a I get a free bottle of wine I know. Alrighty. So anyway, your first four bottles would be $29.95. Shipping is free. If you decide to stick with it and you're just going to kind of go back um, once you get your wines and you're going to rate them, uh, what you liked about them, what you didn't like about them, or you can just uh, do the one through five, the star numbering system as well from whatever your feedback is, is how they're going to curate another box of wine for you. Your next box, if you decide to stick with it, will be $59.95. Again, shipping is free. And for me, I've just had wonderful, wonderful luck. I've had some really great wines with them. I've had maybe one or two bottles that wasn't quite my favorite, but everything else I have loved. I started doing this, not this past January, but the January before. And I'm not looking back. I have had a great time doing these wines. Alrighty, so in the 15th box of wine, and you know, I don't know if I said it, but you know, I'm going to have that first video that I did of Wink up there, just so you can see a little bit more about it, what my first box looked like, and um, I'll have a playlist at the end so that you can see the different wines that I've had, maybe the different costumes that I've had on and worn. It's always fun looking back at costumes. Okay, so I think, did I say everything I wanted to say? All right, so getting into this 15th box of wine, I've got one bottle from Italy and it's like a soda cap, the kind that you use one of those um, bottle cap openers with. And it looks like a funky kind of like a light green and it's got a really pretty label. I am so excited about doing that. I, yeah. I'm going to really enjoy that one. And then the other three wines are from California. One we're opening today is a Pinot Noir from California. It's got this kind of wax seal on it like I've had in the past from them. And um, I think it's like Maker's Mark that has that bourbon or a whiskey or something like that, that they have that wax seal on. It is it's easy enough to come off, but then there's a cork under it. So I'm going to turn off the video in a second and uh, get that open. This is a 2020 Potter. Porter and plot and there's going to be some information on the back here and it is a Pinot Noir it's not going to focus for me of course from California tells you a little bit about it and 
There you go. And if you lived in Maine and Iowa, you can get a five cent refund on your bottle. I know. Remember when they used to do that in the olden days? Oh my God, we used to go up and down the streets with a little red wagon. Yeah, we did. And we would do all the bottles we could find. And we would go to the corner store, which was called the Rockies. And they had all kinds of penny candy and stuff like that. We used to have a blast doing that. Kids don't have that fun anymore. But anyway, I am going to open this up. And then we're going to get ready. I'm going to tell you all about the dinner that we have going on here. And we will be right back. All righty. So we got the wax off. We got the cork out with my handy dandy opener. Everybody needs one of these. These are awesome so i got the cork out and it really smells really smells awesome and um so anyway when you get your bottles getting ready to ship they also send you some menus in case you wanted to pair it with something so this one came the suggestion was a crispy coconut kale with roasted salmon and coconut rice I know. Doesn't that sound good? Other than the kale, because yeah, vegetables kind of scare me sometimes. So in my freezer, I happen to have some of these left, and this is a honey chipotle salmon. So it's got a nice crust on it with a honey chipotle seasoning. I've had this before, loved them. So I cooked two of them, and then I will just have some leftovers during the week. And uh, at Target, the last time, because when I got my menus, I had seen this. And so I had ordered from Target. It's a Good and Gather brand. So it was a 90-second bag. And it was a balsamic or coconut balsamic rice, whatever. So anyway, have that. Never had that before. And then I also, earlier this week, I bought one of those little pre-seasoned or pre-mixed little vegetable. No, salad packs. Yeah, I know. I've got this in front of me. I got the food here with the smells. I'm like all over the place. But anyway, so I got one of those little um, mini salad things that's already pre-mixed in the bag with different toppings. It was, I think it's sesame seeds, something that I don't know what it is. And it's got a chili mango tangy dressing. I had that earlier this week with my fish with my tilapia and those fish tacos that I made. made. So anyway, I thought that would be a nice di dinner for this. So let's see if I can get this up without spilling it. So I've got that honey chipotle salmon. It's got the crusted on it. We've got that balsamic coconut rice. And then we've got a little bit of salad here with some toppings on it and that chili mango dressing. I know this smells amazing i cannot wait to taste it Alrighty, so let's put that down and get my wine here i already got my aerator in here that i got from miss barbara jean age is just a number by barbara jean she's a super sweet lady she's got the cutest dogs her channel is just growing by leaps and bounds her husband, Pat, sometimes makes an appearance, especially during the Vlogma series. We call him Mr. Guns, because he's got the muscles. Alrighty, so you need to go check out Barbara Jean. Age is just a number with Barbara Jean. Like I said, she is an awesome, awesome lady. She does um, like five for... I forgot the name of it because I'm just excited about this wine, but every Friday she does five ways to Friday. So she'll take an item from a closet, whether it's leggings, a pair of boots or her shoes or a jacket or jeans or a skirt or a blouse. And then she'll show you five different ways that she can style it because part of her motto is um, don't buy clothes unless you can have at least three ways that you can wear it so you know you will get the maximum use out of your closet she also does like thrifted uh for less challenge they do that every month where she goes onto like a high end store or fashion page and she gets an inspiration outfit and then she will either thrift something from a local thrift store or shop her closet and come up with the same inspiration for that. And maybe this inspiration outfit was like five to ten thousand dollars. And maybe she spent zero because everything was in her closet or maybe she spent ten or fifteen dollars. But those are just amazing. And she does some get ready with me. So, yeah, you got to check out age. It's just a number with Barbara Jean. So anyway, alrighty, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. It was my thing over there was beeping, telling me to upgrade something. And I don't want to upgrade my computer. Why does it have to tell you to upgrade every now and then? But anyway, I have got my 
wine poured in here and I can see it's got some nice legs it is really coating the glass nicely it's a kind of like a purpley red color it is a little bit see-through so not as um, heavy as some of the others but it does have some nice legs it's coating the glass but I can see like the legs coming down as well I'm already going to kind of swirl this around in here so we can get all those fragrances to kind of unleash after it's been trapped inside that bottle Alrighty, just kind of swirling this around mm, it smells like cherry not, not cinnamon but something kind of spicy in here but not like a hot spice but just a little bit of spice maybe some strawberry and that's something that I don't know what it is but doesn't make a difference if I can't figure out what it is it's all in the taste anyway right cheers everyone even though this isn't really Friday here it's been posting on a Friday so I hope you guys are having a fabulous fabulous week cheers everyone here's to a great weekend mm. this has got some nice tannins you can feel it dry the top of your mouth instantly but back here the acidity from the fruits just kind of kicks in and your mouth just starts watering the flavors really come alive I mean even though it's dry you can taste the strawberry you can taste the cherry it's not cinnamon but there's some kind of spice in here not like a pepper or anything like that but um, kind of like a baking spice I'm going to say and then something that I can't quite figure out what it is it could just be the tannins could be whatever it was aged in going to have a nice going to have a nice going to have a, another little sip yeah it is nice cheers again mm. this is going to be a really nice dinner wine going to go great with my dinner but I can still see having this maybe with some pizza with some friends or just sitting around a charcuterie board sitting around a campfire sitting with just a little glass of wine reading your book at the end of the night anyway a great little wine I am excited to have that one all right so let me grab my cheat sheets I think I showed you this right so this is what they suggested having it with but and it did have the recipe but sometimes a lot of these recipes they've got like 20 different ingredients and I don't you know I think if I was a gourmet cook I would probably have what they have in the house and that's sometimes where like HelloFresh came in good because if you needed like a teaspoon of this or a tablespoon of that you got everything that you needed right there so you didn't have to go buy things that you wouldn't buy and use again alrighty and a rambling okay so porter and is it pie porter and plot I need to clean my glasses and in my next Timo unboxing I have got some eyeglass cleaners I know it's gonna be fantastic when I had to see out of my glasses alrighty so it says by focusing on small lot wines Porter and Plot highlights the unique nuance individuality of California's most exceptional vineyards and operations for Pinot Noir cool climate is the key and the central coast has many pockets that provide the perfect environment for this finicky grape to thrive an excellent Pinot Noir is a winemaker's piece de la resistance I can't say that the one style that can definitely prove a masterful level of skill and knowledge this example shows notes of red and black fruit earth and warm spice with silky tannings wrapping it all together this elegant wine would pair beautifully with duck breast roasted with fennel you know I had a I think it was a hello fresh thing once that came with fennel I've never had fennel before that was amazing it's so tasty uh, grilled salmon and vegetables or braised lamb stew it says how to serve it lightly chilled mine is at room temperature so it's about 63 it pairs well with pizza fish Chinese pasta with red sauce so it's a 2020 uh, Pinot Noir um, 
It was rated out of the 2,161 people that rated this, tasted it and rated it. It got a 4.3 out of 5, so that's pretty good. It says it's elegant, earthy, and premium. And it was a little bit more that I paid for this one. Um, I think most of them really are probably around $13.99 or something like that. I think this one was like $19.99, so I paid a little bit more for it. Um, medium, uh, dry and it's 14.2 percent so the medium is the body so it's a medium body um it says um the flavors are going to be black cherry allspice i think it's allspice that always throws me off and mushroom i never know what that mushroom is either and strawberry so again another great wine from wink wine so i am having so much fun i am this chipotle salmon oh my god it smells so good I wish that you were here to share it with me. I do have another one in the pan out in the kitchen. So I'm going to be having some leftovers this week. This is a big piece of salmon. So that's going to be at least, so I'm probably going to get at least four meals out of this. So I'm happy with that. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. I know I just kind of feel kind of out of it. I'm just, oh my God, it's so hard to video when you've got great smelling food next to you. I don't know how the food foodies do it but anyway thank you guys so much for stopping in i hope that you like this video i'd love to read your comments i wish i was faster at responding to them i hope you don't mind my going from a shimu video with this wild hair to a wink diaries but it's a lot of fun and i think i'll probably try to put a, a timu uh, video in there too just uh, linked someplace here so that you can check those out they have some really fun items. But before I ramble on and on and on, again, thank you guys so much. I am so blessed. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping in and spending time with me. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, this little girl says, please subscribe to Nancy's channel. Just uh, click that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Have fun. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in our next video.